Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading <clears throat> um, for the... Uh, this is for quarter three of 2021. This is going to be for uh, July through September. We're going to take a look at your current general energies in this first row. Then we're going to take a look at uh, any messages from your future self in this next row. Then we're going to look at anything unexpected that could be coming your way. And in your last row, we're going to look at any messages from your guides. On top of that, uh, we are going to pull three yes or no question cards at the end, and I will be giving you time to think of those questions. Um, also, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked below in the description. Uh, there are a ton of scammers now, and uh, Facebook doesn't care. Instagram doesn't care. They don't take them down. So I will never, ever contact you for a personal reading. I will never contact you for money or anything else. So if anybody claiming to be me does those things, it is not me. And do not give them any money because they will scam you. But um, Sagittarius, let's see here. You have the Net of Cups showing up in your first row. Definitely very attractive at this time. I feel like you could be attracting, you know, multiple people for some of you. You have the Empress here as well. So if you're looking for love, definitely a good time for like dating, getting out there, I feel intuitively. Uh, but there could be someone who stands out to you. Knight of Cups could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. It could just be someone, again, I feel like it's more someone that you find attractive. Uh, definitely a knight in shining armor type of energy that I get here, Sagittarius. So it does seem like there could be kind of like a solid connection coming in for you. You have the Empress, the Strength card, and the Two of Wands here. Um, I feel like saying finally <laughs> is really what I feel like saying, Sagittarius. So for some of you, it's almost like there's some sort of reward coming in for you that you've been waiting for for a very long period of time. The Empress, you know, can represent abundance and a harvest. It can also, to me, you know, it can just represent some improvements because it's like going from winter to spring. It can just say that you're coming out of the cold. And that's kind of like what I feel here is maybe it's not like this like mind-blowing amount of abundance that's coming in for you. Maybe nothing really changes that much, but I feel like it's enough of a change where it's like you're starting to notice that things are improving here. Even the two wants is kind of like, you know, is a card of leadership. It's a card of needing to take the lead, but I'm getting a different message here for you where I feel like you are taking the lead, like where it's more like you're getting ready to step up into a, a leadership role. And this could be a leadership role in your own life. You could be doing things like, um, you know, again, take, getting ready to take the lead in work or business. But you could also be doing things like making your own decisions at this time here, Sagittarius. But let's see where this is going. You have the three cups here. I, like I said, I immediately get the impression here kind of like on that Knight of Cups that it's multiple people. I Like, I feel like there could be multiple people who are interested in you at this time. You could really be going from, you know, uh, not getting very much in the way of love to getting a lot. Is <laughs> And that's kind of like what I'm getting here, Sagittarius. So I feel like a lot of people could be interested in you at this time. Uh, you have the Three of Swords here. Some of you could be worried because it's like you're worried about the past with this energy. And you have the Page of Pentacles here as well. Page of Pentacles could be communication. I would be careful of anyone coming back from the past with that Three of Swords and that Page of Pentacles. I do also feel that you could be kind of like, a, some of you, um, you know, again, I would protect your own energy. I would. You have this turtle spirit, which says slow and steady wins the race. So if you have like multiple dates coming in and things like that, I would just take your time. Three of Swords really says that you're probably trying to avoid a heartbreak, mostly because of that Strength card. It's like the Strength card is normally the lady. She's like soothing that lion, right? So it kind of says that some of you have maybe recently overcome something as far as a heartbreak is concerned, and you finally have maybe gotten to this place where you're healed or you feel healed, and so if you get hurt again, you know, it could hurt extra, if that makes sense. So I feel like some of you are trying to avoid that here. Totally understandable. But I do feel that there's a lot of interest in you. For others, I feel like this is also in work as well. It's like, the, like I feel like all eyes on you. I feel like everybody's interested in you <laughs> here with that Empress card. Uh, again, this could be a good thing in work or business because, again, I feel like you'll be getting a lot of interest. This would mean like a lot of interviews if you're looking for a job. Um, it could also mean that um, in, in work or if you have a current career that they're interested in you for like a raise or a promotion. 
Whenever I get this type of kind of like intuitive feeling, I always tell people, this is gonna sound weird, but I always tell people like, like live your life as if there's a camera on you 24 seven. And I don't mean be paranoid, a paranoid freak like on the Truman Show, that movie, right? But what I'm saying is act as if that everything you do is important. Act as if everything you do is on camera. So don't do things that you shouldn't be doing. Do extra good things at this time as well. Uh, The reason for that, is that when I get energy like this, to me it says all eyes are on you. And so it's like if you, those extra good things that you do are going to get noticed and it will just increase your uh, opportunities for getting raises, promotions, um, you know, other good things as well. So it's not just raises and promotions, but pretty much everything. So I feel like you're really getting a lot of attention here. This is pretty good. Uh, next, in the area of any messages from your future self, you have slow and steady the wins the race here. Um, I, I feel, I don't think this is asking you to go slow right now. I, I just intuitively, I feel this is more saying that it's been a long journey, you know, the journey that you've been on for a very long period of time. I feel like it's taken you a very long time to get to where you are. I feel like it's taking taken a long time. Sorry, um, some scammer is calling me. Let me just hang up on that. There we go. Um, so I feel like this is saying that, you know, it's taken you a long time to get to where you are. You have the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like there is kind of like a new opportunity coming in for you here. It's kind of weird. I mean, pretty much every sign has had a message like this, like you've passed some sort of test. The Hermit kind of says you're ready for the Ace of Pentacles because the Hermit is a card of soul searching. It's, it's a card of uh, finding your inner light, finding your own guidance. And it's like sometimes when we do that, I feel like the universe is like, it says, you are mature enough for something new in your life. So it's like, if you had to do some soul searching due to some sort of heartbreak that you went through, could be a relationship loss, but it could be another heartbreak as well. It could be like losing a job, losing a house or something along those lines. And you learned a lot from it. It's like when we learn from those situations, then the universe can say, okay, they're like ready for something new. And that's kind of like what I'm getting here. It's like the universe is almost like making you an offer because you have learned what you needed to learn from a situation. The Nine of Cups is just contentment. You know, it's like the, you know, getting a wish or having some sort of uh, wish fulfillment here. But uh, let me see. You have the Five of Wands here. This has definitely been a journey. Uh, I like the Five of Wands. <laughs> I, you know, to me, the Five of Wands is a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong, Sagittarius. But to me, it is a card of finding treasure. It's like these people, they are learning how to fight on this card. They are not, it is a card of competition and chaos and conflict, right? But it's not a card that says stop. It is a card that says learn. And that's what I feel like you've done here. You have learned through a lot of difficulties. You have a star. It's like you're finally in this uh, recovery mode. You're finally able to recover uh, at this time. And you have the lovers. For a lot of you, this could be love. Um, For a lot of you, I feel you have gone through difficult love um, situations in the past. Uh, I always get this story for you, Sagittarius. I feel like I I haven't said this to you in a while, but uh, I always get this story where I feel like for some of you, it's like you have recently kind of lost a person who you feel is kind of like a high school sweetheart. Um, Maybe they're not really a high school sweetheart. Maybe you didn't really know them in high school, but it has that very kind of like more, you know, fun, um, young kind of love feeling to it. And so I feel for some of you, you feel like you lost that person in the past, whether it's like, you know, I would say over the last year, but you know, for some of you it could be a little bit longer. And so I feel like it's taken you a long time to heal from that with the star card. It's like you're finally being given an offer that's significantly better here with the lovers and the ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles to me is the path to marriage, you know? Um, ace of pentacles can be any type of offer because it's a card that just represents potential or something that has potential. And I feel for you, This could be like saying that there's a love situation coming in for you here uh, with this energy. Uh, I don't know, I like it, (laughs) is what I would say. Could be an Aquarius. Could be someone who has Aquarius in their chart. Uh, Next in the area of the unexpected, you do have this thief card here. Uh, It seems to be a little tricky time. I don't know, we're in between eclipses. Uh, Neptune and Pisces, to me, is deception in the first place. So we have Neptune and Pisces until 2025. I tell every, I I, I literally said it to another sign in these three-month readings. I'm gonna say it to you. I've been saying for years, with Neptune and Pisces until 2025, I mean, you know, if you're um, having anything expensive, any expensive work done, get a second opinion. Like if someone's fixing your car, if you're buying a car, especially if it's a used car, if you're buying a house, if if you're buying a, um, you know, I don't know, if you're buying anything that's expensive, I would double check it. I wouldn't just take someone's word for it, right? Because someone could say, oh, this is gonna cost a million dollars. And if you say yes, they could be scamming uh, or they could just be a thief. So I would, you know, number one, 
uh, Neptune and Pisces, I would double check everything that you're doing here. It's not really that bad of a row here. You, you do have the Devil, but you have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups here. Not bad. I would definitely be careful of third parties. I, you know, personally, I do not read the Three of Cups as a third party situation. Um, you know, I know some readers do. I feel like that's one of those cards where a reader said that once and now all the readers say it. I mean, the Three of Cups does not represent a third party. It is a card of community. It is a card of friendship. It is a good card. Um, but, you know, what I would say is it's showing up in, with this card here. So I would just be careful of anyone uh, like that, you know? Yeah, look, you have the False Person card. Can't make this stuff up. And the Devil... So again, you have the Devil, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups. I would be careful of any false people at this time. Um, like I said, pretty much every single sign in, in this third quarter here has had something about like needing to be careful of something that either is false or appears too good to be true. Uh, what I'm getting for you here is I feel like there's someone who's trying to like play on your sympathy. You know, I feel like there's someone who might be trying to tug at your heartstrings here a little bit Sagittarius. So I would just pay attention to that here with this energy uh, for sure, especially with the devil here. Um, you do, these are good cards though. The Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Three of Cups. I mean, it's like a celebration. Good things coming in for you. Let's, um, let's clarify this just to make, just to make sure. Uh, let's see. You have the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. So for some of you, it could be a Capricorn coming in for you. Nine of Swords here. Yeah, I, what I would say here is I would just protect yourself. You know, that Nine of Swords with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups is kind of like one of those situations where uh, you might regret spilling your heart out to a person, right? And so that's what I would say there. And you have the Tower here as well. Uh, it's funny because someone said, uh, you title all your Sagittarius readings, warning. Uh, I titled the last two readings. So I I've done about, I don't know, I've been on YouTube for over six years now. I've done, a, I don't know, a, a bajillion um, Sagittarius readings. Two of those, I went in and I searched, by the way, to that person who left that comment. I went in and I searched. I, uh, the, the last two I titled warning. And um, it's like, I'm not making it up, dude, okay? It's like, boom, there is like a warning right here. I'm not gonna title this one warning to keep that, make sure that person stays happy, right? Sagittarius, God forbid I set that person off again. But what I would say here is, I mean, it's a warning right? I mean, I would just keep your head on straight. Like I said, here, here's the thing about tarot. It's like, I'm not telling you these things so that you can you sit there and crap your pants. I'm telling you this so you can, uh, so that you know about it, right? And here's the other thing about tarot. Tarot doesn't say, oh, this is going to happen and you're screwed. Tarot says, hey, pay attention to this so that it doesn't happen, right? So that's why I'm giving you this warning. I would be careful of anything that seems too good to be true. I would be careful of anyone who's, uh, and again, this will be obvious, right? This right here will be a person who's coming in like, you know, Tiny Tim or whatever, trying, you know, crying and whining and all this other stuff, you know, playing the victim. To me, this is like a victim person or someone who's trying to play, you know, tug on your heartstrings. So again, if you're dealing with a person in love, specifically as well, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups here, who is always got some sort of sad story, I would be careful. Like, here's your warning, right? Sagittarius, that's what I would say there. Um, I would just, you know, I, I don't know how else to say it. I would just pay attention because this to me looks like getting taken advantage of or something like that. So, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's just one part of the reading, right? It's not a big deal. And on top of that, like I said, Neptune and Pisces, I would, you know, anything expensive, I would just, I would get a second opinion on anything that you're doing. It's like, I always tell people, you know, I told people, right? I've been warning people since the beginning of Saturn and Capricorn. Saturn's not in Capricorn anymore. It doesn't matter. I was warning people for the past three years to be careful of purchasing houses, right? Because to me, you know, I, I see Saturn, Capricorn, Neptune, and Pisces. To me, this says there could be something difficult. It's no surprise to me that we're like at the top of the real estate market. And it's like, I've been hearing from all these people people who buy houses and because we're at the top, all these homeowners are saying no inspections, right? Which is crazy to me. So it's no surprise to me that these people are saying no inspections when there's clearly a problem with their house, right? I would don't buy something without looking into it. Plain and simple. It's not worth it uh, with this energy, especially right now is all I'm going to say, Sagittarius. Uh, everything else looks great. So don't, you know, just pay attention. Uh, next, you have this milk and honey card. This is coming up in the area of messages from your guides. And, um, you know, this is a card of like healing, resting, relaxing, recovering. It is a good card. I feel like there are good things coming in for you. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant here. I feel like you're going to be feeling very inspired at this time. Uh, it's unfortunate, you know, well, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, but it's like sometimes I don't realize things that, uh, stand out to me in readings until the end, right? Uh, you're the last sign that I'm doing this week and, 
the Ace of Wands has been coming up a lot. And it seems to me like it's a very good creative time, like this next three months for everybody, not just you, but it definitely shows up for you here that if you're like um, trying to grow anything, like a business, um, if you're trying to grow a relationship, your health, anything, being creative, trying new things, but also, you know, the Ace of Wands a, a, is a card of inspiration. It's one of those cards that says, maybe there's something in your business that inspires you, that, that makes you feel good. And it's like something new that you're thinking about doing. Ace of Wands just says, do it. And the Hierophant says, learn as much as you can about whatever it is, because it will lead to a lot of success. Um, this, you know, it's coming up in the area of your guides as well. So with the Hierophant, you could be learning about spirituality as well, or you could be learning about something new that excites you. And this is basically saying, do it. Even if it pulls you away from something, even if it pulls you away from tarot, right? My goal is to get people to stop watching tarot because to me, it's like we should we create our own reality in the first place. And it's like, we don't need tarot to tell us what to do, right? We just need to trust ourselves. So, you know, I feel for some of you, this is like you learning something new um, that could be pulling you away from something as well. It's like maybe you're learning about business and it pulls you away from your job. Maybe you're learning about health and it pulls you from one diet to another. Or maybe you're doing a certain exercise and then you start doing a different one, right? I just feel like you're being guided. But I feel like you're being guided more like with through inspiration, through things that are, you know, going to be exciting to you. Yeah, you have the Justice card here. It's funny, I was calling you Libra in <laughs> in one of your last weekly readings. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. So if you're looking for love, I do feel intuitively that there could be a Libra coming in for you. You have the moon here, Sagittarius, right? So um, here's the problem with the Ace of Wands in the first place is it's just the roots, right? It's like we get an idea, the roots go down into the soil, but we have to be the one to make that tree grow, right? So in, not only that, we can't see the roots either. Roots are underground, right? So for a lot of you, I feel this is like saying, it's almost like you're being given a foundation, but you're gonna have to build up from there. And the moon is just not being sure what to do. And you have the page of wands. You just have to go on the adventure. <laughs> you know, what I would say there is um, answer the call, right, with the page of wands. The page of wands can be one of those cards where uh, we feel inspired to do something. And the page of wands, he grabs that wand, right, and he starts his adventure. He starts off on his journey, whatever it is. So don't be afraid of something new. Uh, pretty straightforward reading, as always, Sagittarius. But uh, we're going to pull three yes or no question cards here, Sagittarius and... Uh, that'll be that. So one, two, and three. Feel free to pause this reading if you need to think of your questions. For question number one, uh, I would say yes. Uh, for some reason, I feel like this is your knowing here with this pa uh, King of Swords. I feel like you know something here that you're, whatever you're asking about. So I would just say yes. For question number two, yep, definitely. Ten of Pentacles, a lot of success coming in for you here. And for question number three, I would say yes, Wheel of Fortune, damn, Sagittarius. I'll tell you what, <laughs> this is really good. Uh, three yeses, number one. But number two, everything comes back to this uh, hermit here in your reading. Um, King of Swords, a card of knowledge, hermit. Again, it's like you've gone through a dark night of the soul. You've gone through some challenges, whatever you want to call it. And it's like you are at the top. You have learned something. And Boom, right here. A lot of knowledge. Ten of Pentacles, also a card of knowledge. The Ten of Pentacles can actually represent hidden or secret knowledge because it's a card of like um, receiving knowledge from an unlikely source. And then the Wheel of Fortune is a change in your destiny. So I do feel like there's some sort of change in your destiny here, but it looks like a good thing. Uh, so love it. Uh, so thank you for being here, Sagittarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Sag, and definitely enjoy the next three months.